It's a very common misconception for people to believe that you need to change your electric car battery, that this will happen and cost you many thousands of dollars. Is this actually true? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. How long do batteries last? What is their degradation every year? How often do you actually need to replace a battery or do you even need to replace one? Well, here are the actual real details. Here's the truth. It's not clickbait, it's not scam, it's not some YouTube channel set up in order for you to click on it because it's some sort of sensational thing. This is just focusing on the actual facts. Tackling the common misconceptions and myths about EVs uh, is a challenging thing to do because there's so many false articles, false narratives created by the oil industry, by the media, by YouTubers in order to mislead people. Many of these, such as range anxiety, well, they fall by the wayside, but there are some myths that persist today. A prominent myth, which is still putting many people off buying an electric car, is the fear that they will need to buy a replacement battery for it, for which they believe there will be a massive cost, meaning they shouldn't buy an electric car in the first place because then they can avoid this problem. Today though, we can see that this is a harmful myth created by people with certain agendas and that it is not a valid reason to not buy an EV. Internal combustion versus EVs. First, it's important to note that internal combustion engine vehicles, those running on petrol or diesel, gasoline as you guys say in the United States, including hybrids, have thousands of moving parts, which makes them incredibly prone to wear and tear. My last um, gasoline or petrol powered vehicle that I had was a Mitsubishi Magna. They're meant to last longer than a lot of other cars. It lasted for 250,000 kilometers before the engine needed some major, major repair work. And to be honest, the car was worth less than what it was worth to actually fix it. That's not very far. That's about 150,000 miles. This means gasoline vehicles, petrol powered vehicles become less efficient over time and they require more oil to be drilled from the earth to keep them in working order and economical for drivers to use. And basically it just costs you more money. Electric cars, on the other hand, only have a handful, a very small number of moving parts. This means they require a lot less maintenance, lowering average running costs by around 78% per year compared to an internal combustion engine vehicle. Crucially, it also means that they are far less prone to faults. As such, the average life expectancy of an internal combustion engine is around 13 years, based on the average mileage of the typical driver, which is around 17,000 kilometers, or about 11,000 miles per year. An electric car's motor and battery should exceed over 20 years of operation without needing to be changed. And generally, this is what happens. To put that in terms of mileage, in 2021, the United States Department of Energy conducted an extensive study on internal combustion engines. They typically last up to 133 miles or 215,000 kilometers without needing some serious work. Most studies have placed the average EV battery at exceeding 250,000 miles. This isn't just theoretical numbers. The popularity of electric vehicles as taxis, especially in places like China, owing to their lower running and maintenance costs, means we have some good data from EVs which have covered over 300,000 miles and in many cases over 500,000 miles. I mean, 300,000 miles is 483,000 kilometers and there's a lot of electric cars still being driven today that have done that distance without having any major mechanical work done to them whatsoever. And if you want to join a Facebook group to find out all the owners who have been doing this, there's many, many electric car owners in this group called the Tesla Mileage Club. You can join them on Facebook. Furthermore, a report by Cartel IE in 2020 found that the average car changes ownership every three and a half years. So not only will an electric vehicle last longer than a combustion engine one, but it will significantly exceed the length of time that you are likely to be driving it before selling it on to someone else. As such, it is extremely unlikely that you, or anyone else for that matter, will need to pay to replace the battery of your EV. This is a well debunked myth. But the thing is, 
Would you even pay to replace your electric car battery if it had a fault anyway? Repair companies are popping up in all parts of the world where you can actually get your battery repaired rather than replaced. Now I have a video coming about that very soon. So how long do EV batteries actually last? Now that we understand EV batteries are likely to last much longer than internal combustion engines, what kind of a range should you expect over your battery's lifetime? According to a 2019 study by Geotab, the average EV will actually lose around 2% of its capacity per year. In fact, it's 2.3% in 2019, but that's improved since then to around 1.6%. This means that an EV purchase with 300 kilometers of range today will have only lost 34 kilometers in range in five years time. However, if you purchase that EV today in 2023 and it has good battery management software, such as a BYD or a Tesla does, then it will have even less battery degradation than that, probably around one to 2% per year. However, battery degradation has also been seen to level out over time. In 2016, Plug-in America, one of the biggest charging networks in the United States, found the typical Tesla Model S only lost 5% of its original capacity over the first 50,000 miles, with the rate of degradation or depletion slowing down from that point onwards. Tesla's own impact report in 2020 declared that their Model S and Model X batteries, which aren't as good as the current batteries in the majority of the cars they sell, will lose less than 20% of their original charge after being driven for 200,000 miles. That's 320,000 kilometers. Uh, and that's a lot longer than the average internal combustion engine or internal combustion engine vehicle even lives for. Generally, they're scrapped before then. This data is supported by a 2020 study by Consumer Reports, which estimates that an EV battery pack has a lifespan well exceeding 200,000 miles without ever needing to be replaced, meaning the battery will more than likely outlive the life expectancy of the car. But here's the thing. If you did buy an old EV with a battery that may possibly outlive the car, in other words, the car's falling apart, but the battery is still fine, which is actually generally the case now, your battery pack can be repurposed for either energy storage or for something else. And it can make you a lot of money. I'll explain how that is in just a minute. The same report also points out that the typical person switching from an internal combustion engine vehicle to an EV will save around about 6,000 US dollars in fuel during the first seven years of ownership. Now that amount is probably increased by now considering fuel prices have gone up drastically over the past 12 months. It's likely to save you over 10,000 US dollars now for those first five years. In addition, it is a common misconception that an EV battery will just conk out and die one day. This could not be further from the truth. Battery degradation is incredibly slow and gradual, especially, like I said, with new batteries, and even more so with lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are found in the most commonly bought Tesla electric cars and BYD's electric cars. So, batteries are not actually prone to sudden failures. And in fact, they're not even prone to fires. Plug-in hybrid vehicles, which combine an internal combustion engine vehicle with a, an electric battery powered vehicle, they are actually very prone to fires, but EVs are far less likely to have a fire or be involved in a fire than a gasoline internal combustion engine vehicle. The majority of manufacturers give between eight to 10 years warranty on their batteries or around about 160,000 kilometers. That's how confident manufacturers are that you won't have to replace the battery. Even if in the very rarest of occasions, an EV battery needs to be replaced, and this is very, very unlikely within the life expectancy of most EVs today, the cost of batteries has fallen by 89% since 2010, but that's old data. Since that data came out, the cost of batteries has fallen enormously. So now they've gone down by over 90% since 2010, meaning that the replacement cost is less than buying a used car. However, depending on the type of car you own, you may only need to replace a very tiny section of the battery, it could even be a single cell. 
And there are now companies and even car manufacturers who are doing those repairs, meaning it's extremely, extremely unlikely you'll ever need to replace a battery pack in your electric vehicle. Second life. When electric vehicle batteries are chosen to be retired, and they often are now. For example, we see bus battery packs now as users energy storage in numerous places around the world from retired buses. So it's a choice rather than a necessity. They can still live very productive lives and help society be more sustainable in the face of what we're in right now, which is a climate crisis. Retired EV batteries typically have around 80% capacity when they are retired and are ideal for use in homes, businesses, or to store renewable energy for any type of purpose. For example, storing energy from solar panels on the roof to use at night when they are less able to generate power. This allows you to be smarter in your use of energy and lower your energy costs by using less power from the grid. In addition, it's important for lowering our dependence on fossil fuels as a society. Now, if you were to find, say, a battery that's been in a car for, I don't know, say a million kilometers, some huge distance like that, and you didn't want to use it for energy storage, maybe the battery's been mostly depleted, you can recycle them. And in fact, there is an index on the metals listings called black mass. Now, if your battery isn't recycled properly, it can be simply recycled as black mass. Black mass has a value of 10,000 US dollars per ton, meaning your battery is worth a lot of money, even if it's been completely depleted, which is extremely rare. But it means, for example, for people who go to scrap an old car, could be 10, 20, 30 years old, it's worth almost nothing. The same cannot be said for an electric car. Its battery materials are extremely valuable as recycled materials, which will be used for battery packs in the future. Now, getting back to actually using batteries for storage, because this is less power intense compared to rapid charging an EV, and driving long distances, batteries can be used to store renewable energy for decades or more. We can already see them in action in places like Johan Cruyff Arena in Amsterdam, which uses 63 second-hand electric vehicle battery packs alongside 85 new ones to store energy from 4,200 solar panels to use for major events. And there's many places in the world now that are using old recycled battery packs from electric cars for a variety of different purposes. However, you can extend your battery life. As with all things, it is entirely possible to extend the life of your electric vehicle's battery through some very simple steps. A key consideration is the speed at which you charge the battery pack. The chemical composition of EV batteries means that they experience more wear when they are charged quickly. Not a lot more, but a little bit more. So electing to charge them at a slower rate, as in charging them at home, will make them last longer. This is the general typical method for how people charge their electric cars. Just plug them in at home. You can even plug them into your general power point. You don't even need a proper EV charger to do this. And it actually will mean your battery will last longer than if you charge it at charging stations. In addition, it is recommended that you don't charge the battery every single night, as when you charge it, it does place a little bit of stress on the battery. However, because of the advent of lithium ion phosphate batteries, you now can charge your battery pack to 100% routinely whenever you want to, and it doesn't have any effect on those batteries. I know a lot of people still believe a lot of the electric car myths out there. This is very common, and unfortunately, it's not likely to change anytime soon because there's too many vested interests. However, if you can, try to share this information with your friends. Don't let them fall for some of the crazy electric car myths that are believed by many millions of people around the world. And they're all pretty much completely false. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.